I think in romantic relationships, we need to cultivate a foundational understanding that the other person is going to have traumas, wounds, um, experiences from their past that actually hurt them or they're carrying certain weight or certain energies. And if you can accept that about your partner and you can both grow together and not take your things personally, it will radically change your relationship. And so a lot of people, what they tend to do is that when there's a bad situation happening, they take it personally, they take it as a personal attack and then they now want to fight that person back or argue with that person back. Um, but usually when someone loves you, when someone really cares about you, they don't want to hurt you. You know, unless they're narcissistic or a sociopath or something like this, they don't actually want to hurt you. They want to actually look for the solution. They want to not argue. They want to find the outcome. I know some people like drama, but uh, for the most part, people just want to be in harmony and be loving and caring and they don't want to have any problems in their relationship. They don't want an extra headache, they don't want any stress and maybe that sounds like you, right? And so when it comes to your relationships, we need to really rest in the idea that um, there's something underneath, there's something deeper down that we need to uncover and learn, whether that's through therapy, whether that's through coaching, whether that's through talking with your partner and asking questions. And one of the most powerful questions we can ask is why? And why do you feel that way? What's really happening here? Is there anything I can do to support you? You know, and going deeper into it and really understand what's underlying this, okay? And if you can get to the core of the emotion and release it, it can be a huge transformation in the person and in the relationship dynamic too. And so a lot of relationships don't work nowadays because people are not doing the inner work. Um, we grow up with certain parents, um, whether they're parents who were strict or abusive or uh, it was challenging or certain perspectives on relationships. And we're not following certain cultures, we're not following certain systems anymore when it comes to relationships. For example, maybe in the 50s or 40s, I'm not sure how long ago, um, the father would meet the, the, the daughter's girlfriend, boyfriend, potential girlfriend, boyfriend, talk to him, get to know him, to make sure his, his daughter's making the right decision. You know, there's things like this, where there's like a boundary or a wall from getting or having a relationship with this woman. There's a sense of protection there. There's a layer of protection because, again, the female dynamic or women, um, uh, I'm not saying women are bad at making decisions, but they're going to make more emotional decisions based on how the man's making her feel. Um, and sometimes relationships need to have a logical masculine front to know that, okay, this person, you know, has certain values. Um, this person is, is saying the straight truth. I can see something in him that I like or I don't like. And then, you know, that can be communicated and expressed and questions can be asked, you know? And so we don't have that nowadays, right? We don't do these types of things nowadays. And, you know, when you have the wedding, for example, the father gives away the daughter. You know, this, this stuff has changed due to things like feminism and um, the increase in masculine energy within women and the increase in feminine energy within men. And it's just going all downhill. They're even messing with the testosterone, right? They're messing with men's testosterone. They're messing with women's estrogen. Um, and there's all these plastics and fluoride and all of this stuff that's messing with our hormonal system. So we're not even thinking the same anymore about relationships. And we've got dating apps and you know things like instagram where we can dm people and there's abundance of people that we can choose to be with and so we're living in a culture nowadays where um we don't know what a relationship is actually about especially with things like the ultimatum or these love programs love island and um too hot to handle and like all of these shows and programs on netflix we can see uh, where a majority of the population is at in terms of you know how they understand and interpret uh, relationships and so specifically more in the western world in other cultures is um, you know a lot of it's still in harmony but it's still being affected so can you see how screwed up it is and so when it comes to love love is an action word and people focus too much on the feeling of love and if I don't feel the feeling of love we don't have love anymore or if I feel this if I feel this way or I feel that way about this person, if I'm upset with this person, then I need to leave. Or if they're bugging me too much, I need to leave. And, uh, I, you know, people uh, ha have a short-term mindset on it, okay? So what can we learn from this? What can we learn from uh, relationships nowadays? Is that underlying it all is we need to heal our wounds. We need to heal that. And you can do that with someone or you can do that when you're single. 
Um, obviously, if you're doing it with someone, you need to find someone that's wanting and willing to work on those things and those aspects too within themselves. Okay, and that might be a little bit more challenging, but uh, when you're working together with your partner and they're giving you unconditional love, no matter like if you're insecure or you're feeling some type of way or you know you, you are acting out of character or whatever it is they're still loving on you um and realizing hey this is not you this is your ego you know and i'm not saying to stay in a relationship that is toxic what i'm saying is um can you find someone that will accept you for who you are and where you're at right now and build with you and vice versa because if you can get past the ego and love in that in that way instead of okay, this person has a whole bunch of problems, I can't deal with it, I don't want to deal with it. You know, this is like, um, you know, it's, it, I don't know if it's toxic, but it's a bit uh, ego-based and it's unrealistic, okay? Because nobody's perfect, you're not perfect, they're not perfect, and we need to uh, begin to accept people for where they're at rather than trying to change them, trying to grow them, trying to uh, have this perspective of who they could potentially come in the future, you know, can you accept the person for where they're at right now and build love in that way? Okay, so uh, I love helping people with their emotional blocks, their uh, love blocks, uh, relationship blocks, so stopping them from manifesting their dream life partner, um, even healing existing relationships. I've worked with couples before and transformed their uh, relationship, and so. Um, if you want support with your relationship, if you want support in finding a relationship, uh, getting into one, healing from one, uh, I would love to support you and help you with that. I have coaching right here if you click on this right here and I can't wait to hear from you. All right. That's about it for this video. Remember to keep learning, keep growing, keep expanding and I'll speak to you soon. Peace.